Hey, people, here I am working on our dining room table. I found some really cool Mexican tiles, so I decided that I wanted to build my dining room table. And for the trim around it, I found this really cool chair rail that looks kind of Aztec-ish. So I got out my miter saw and got to work. And here is what we did. We stay or I stained, um, did three or four coats of stain, I can't remember, to make it look old world, uh, dark walnut stain here. And this is in the garage where you're setting the legs, the middle legs. This table is so heavy, it has to have six legs. I had to put two in the middle to support the weight of the tile. So then, after all the stain dried, it's time to put the tile in. But we had to first break it all up because I decided I wanted to do a mosaic. So Ken and I got out the hammers and there we are. We smashed up all the tile into broken pieces. And it's all laid out and now we're ready to carry this sucker into the house. We had to bring it in before we put the tile in because once we put the tile in, it's gonna be so heavy, it's gonna be hard to turn sideways and move through the door. And now it's time to lay down the adhesive. I've only ever tiled once before, and that was in my bathroom in our other house, and my neighbor did most of that. He wouldn't let me hardly do anything. I wanted to play, and he wouldn't let me because he wanted it perfect. But anyway, I kind of know the concept, so here we are. Uh, I'm laying the gold tile and then the little bitty tiles that I just love. They're my favorite. And I laid out the tiles. Ken helped me. In fact, Ken, I did the borders around, but as you see, as you'll see, as we get to the middle here, all of the broken pieces, the mosaic part, Ken did all that because we had to hurry up and do it in, um, to make sure that the adhesive would work. We had to get it all done before the adhesive dried. He did a good job. And now it's time for the grout. So I mixed up the grout and started pouring it in. And I Tomorrow, spread yeah, it all in. I forgot. Make sure I, I had get in, got into all the cracks. Got it all smoothed into all the cracks. And then the cleanup. And here we are. Hey, honey. It's not done. bad, not bad. Hey, it looks really cool. Not bad. Really <laughs> not bad. So how long does this take to make? A couple of weeks. Well, I mean, hours-wise, probably about 12 hours, but okay. then the drying time for the stain and the glue for the tile, because it takes 24 hours for it to dry. But how many tiles did, what did it take to make oh this? Oh, gosh, I don't know. There's probably, probably 100. Oh, wow. Ooh, great job there. Well, and plus the little ones. So there's probably 50 of these. So probably 150 if you count the little ones. Um, it turned out really nice. And definitely I know the next time how to do it better. And I really like it. I mean, it came out pretty much the way I had pictured it in my head with a few little exceptions like the corner mosaics and those mosaics. And that was just because oh, super. I didn't want to have to cut tile. So I guess the so. project bug has bitten you once oh, again yeah, yeah, after a 13-year yeah. absence. Yeah, I mean, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Um, <laughs> well, what's your next project going to be? Well, actually, my next project is going to be a top for a cabinet that I bought when we were in Germany. But I oh. think I need to go chair shopping before that. Chairs? Oh, crap. So we're going to need dinner like this now. Okay, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Till, uh, till I go chair shopping. But kind I don't think I'm going to try to make the chairs. But I got a good idea in mind of what I want. All right, well, excellent. And then I'm going to use the scraps from this, actually. with I'm going to add a, have to add a few more of the colored tiles. But almost all of the next project comes from all the scraps from this project. So we're we're going to take, take this to Antiques Roadshow and see if we can't trick the guy and I'm saying this is worth like $10,000. Mm, I don't think <laughs> that'll work, but hey, Phil so give me $10,000 for it, I'd take $10,000. Well, good job, dear. Thank you. Excellent. Even the kids like it. And when we come back, we take a trip to Texas Hill Country and an exotic petting zoo. We'll take a tour of the Texas State Capitol and remembering one of America's greatest battles for freedom after these messages.